The farewell tour came to the goodbye guy instead of the way it's usually done. Even before Vance Scully began his final two weeks as the play-by-play -play voice of the Los Angeles Dodgers on Monday night, fittingly, with another installment on the last homestand of the eternal feud between the San Francisco Giants and the Dodgers, players have been making a pilgrimage from the visiting clubhouse behind right field at Dodger Stadium. In their uniforms, with their spikes clattering on the concrete steps, they trek up to the broadcast booth to give Scully an ongoing last hurrah. Umpiring crews turn after receiving the lineup cards before the start of games and tip their hats to the booth, some theatrically bowing, as Scully bows gravely to them in return. Scully, at the age of 88, after 67 years behind the microphone, doesn't court that kind of attention. I don't like getting in front of the game, he said on a national conference call Monday. I mean, gee whiz, it's the Giants versus the Dodgers. The farewell tour came to the goodbye guy instead of the way it's usually done. Even before Vance Scully began his final two weeks as the play-by-play -play voice of the Los Angeles Dodgers on Monday night, fittingly, with another installment on the last homestand of the eternal feud between the San Francisco Giants and the Dodgers, players have been making a pilgrimage from the visiting clubhouse behind right field at Dodger Stadium. In their uniforms, with their spikes clattering on the concrete steps, they trek up to the broadcast booth to give Scully an ongoing last hurrah. Umpiring crews turn after receiving the lineup cards before the start of games and tip their hats to the booth, some theatrically bowing, as Scully bows gravely to them in return. Scully, at the age of 88, after 67 years behind the microphone, doesn't court that kind of attention. I don't like getting in front of the game.